I was kind of hoping that this cement mixer would last because I really don't want to mix this stuff by hand. But something has gone wrong in here. Maybe, uh, maybe one of those quarter inch cotter keys broke, fell out, who knows. It's been a while since I put it together, so I don't really remember how it goes together. Take it apart, see if we can fix it. That's what I thought it would be. Just a little keyway, that little quarter inch keyway that goes in there. This bolt backed out and that little quarter inch cotter key, it gave it just enough room to fall out. Ah, look down on the ground you find it right there. How lucky is that? I wonder how it made it all the way over here. Unless it just fell out of the bottom of this. I didn't see it fall out though. We'll get that bolt tightened down and put this thing back together and get back to work. concrete mixer works pretty good I figured out since this is only the second time I've used a concrete mixer I figured out it's easier to put a bunch of water in it and shovel the concrete into the bucket or into the barrel and let it mix that way if you uh, you take a bag and dump it in there and then add water it doesn't seem to get water down to the bottom it's always got some dry concrete in the bottom so once I started doing that it mixed up really quick and then of course I had to shovel it back out because I can't just dump it right down the tubes. As you start dumping that mixer, the further you tip it, the more underneath the mixer it has to be. And I don't, I don't have a chute to direct it in there like I did last time. But this is working out all right. It's not taking too long. I'm gonna let the four corners set up. I have five more post brackets to put in. The other, five more? Yeah, five more. And there's five more on order. They'll be here either tomorrow or the next day. So within the next three days, I should have all these set and ready to go. If I let those corners dry, I want my I want to pull measurements off the corner posts and make sure the rest of the posts are going to be 12 foot on center. Nothing but so that when I go to put my six by sixes and then my two by sixes, my two by six purlins that I'm going to put on my two by or my six by six posts, so I can attach my siding. I don't want to have to cut all those two by sixes to a specific length to make them fit. So I'm going to go ahead and let these four corners dry, go in, eat lunch, and I'll be back at it maybe three or four hours.
Well, eight of them done in one day isn't too bad. I could do one more. I have one more post bracket. I think I'm gonna wait until I get the other five that are on order. Went through a bit amount of concrete. Only four bags per hole though, instead of five. So I'm gonna have some leftover concrete. And I had mentioned maybe taking it back, but I think I'm gonna keep it. I've got to pour at least a small slab of concrete for my toolboxes to sit on. So I'm gonna need more concrete here in the near future after I pour these and get it all kind of wrapped in and sealed in. I'll pour a little pad of concrete, maybe a 10 by 10 or so, some place to put my toolboxes. So I've been putting three three-foot pieces of number four rebar in each footing. They overlap the post bracket by about three inches down at the bottom, but I'm hoping that rebar gives it just a little bit more strength. You always put footings in a, or rebar in a footing of a house, so I figured why not put a couple pieces in each one of these uh, sauna tubes to make it a little bit stronger. I've got a lot of rebar left over. My original idea with the rebar, the reason I bought so much of it, is because I was gonna use it for shear on my building on the end walls in between the, the last six by six and the second to last one on each side, I would have a bracket on each top and a bracket on each bottom and a piece of rebar with all thread welded to the end of it, crossing it up. And that would be my shear resistance for this building. Since the walls are 16 foot tall, I figured I should probably have some shear. I am gonna put six by sixes all the way around the top so that I can put my trusses two foot on center. One of my neighbors come by, cause I was talking about putting knee braces up and then having to work with the rebar. He said, why don't you just put the six by sixes up around the top and then take, what do you say, nine sixteenths plywood, buy a few sheets of nine sixteenths plywood, cut it in half the short way and then cut it diagonal, cut each piece diagonal. So you have four foot by four foot right triangles and use three inch screws to screw those to the top corners. That'll be shear resistance and it'll be like a knee brace to that top six by six. It's gonna have to span 12 feet. I am worried about that six by six spanning 12 feet and having trusses on top of it every two foot on center. So it's gotta have some type of knee brace in there or piece of plywood. And I, I could put plywood on the inside and the outside to make it that much stronger. Um, I think it'd be a lot easier than making knee braces and trying to lag bolt these knee braces in place when I'm 16 foot up in the air. Especially the knee brace would be made out of six by six so it wouldn't be very lightweight. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you think one way is better than the other, which way you think I should go with it. I don't know which way I'm gonna go right now. I might use the plywood to strengthen that top piece and then use the rebar idea to get me a little bit more shear resistance. We do get some wind out here, but we've got some, some tall trees around here still, so the building's not gonna get bombarded with a lot of wind. The other five brackets aren't due until late tomorrow, so I'll probably pick them up the day after in the morning, come back up here, finish the last six. Doing six of these should be a breeze as long as my concrete mixer doesn't break down again. That was a pretty easy fix, that little cotter key, pin, whatever you want to call it. Finding that underneath where I took it apart, I don't even know how I saw it, and it's sitting in gravel. The first place I would have looked for it was right where it fell apart, and I'd have been looking for hours for no reason. I don't know how it made it all the way over there, but it did, and I just happened to look down at the right spot and saw it sitting there, so I don't have any of those things sitting around. I would have had to go into town and buy one and then come back up here and that would have pretty much shot the day. So I'm glad I found it down there. I got a lot more done and we'll get those other brackets here soon. Get the rest of it done and get the post, get them leaned up. Once again, let me know what you think about the knee braces, the plywood, the pieces of rebar with all thread, all that for cross bracing and knee bracing that upper six by six. Until next time, guys, go make something.